to squeeze or not to squeeze? That is the question when it comes to zits. <laughs> and here to help us out with this very frustrating dilemma is our friend and dermatologist, Dr. Will Kirby. Welcome back, Dr. Thank Kirby. Thank you. And you, Will. You know, no matter who you are, almost all of us have had pimples that just seem to never go away. But what if I told you we found someone who had a pimple that lasted 20 five years. Whoa. It's true, you're gonna to wanna to probably cover your mouth starting right about now as we show you this so-called zit. Go, and tweezer. Oh no, you're pushing it back in. Oh, no, I'm good. Okay, let me try and pull it out from that angle too. Oh my God. Mom. <gasps> <gasps> yes! It's coming in, Grace. Okay, let me turn off the stop. No, 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 it's coming. Come on, I need light. Are you okay, angry? Mm -hmm. Do you see this? Oh my goodness. Damn, like a tree trunk. Oh! 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 Do you see it? Compare with the finger. Oh my gosh. That was like... <laughs> that was like pulling an escargot out of a out of a shell. Yeah. Um, on behalf of the doctors, I'd like to apologize to our viewers at home who just threw up all over themselves. <laughs> uh, it's pretty gross. I try to be objective as a doctor, but okay. Well, we, we have to take we have to take a moment here. Okay, everyone, let it all out. Talk amongst yourselves. That I, I know that may have been the most disgusting footage we've ever shown. <laughs> um, you know, even as doctors. That was problematic, mainly because of the thought it was in there for 25 years. Um, but hey, it happens. Dr. Kirby, what were we looking at there? That is a specific type of blackhead called a dilated pore of whiner. So it's a giant, solitary blackhead. It's usually located on the trunk and uh, usually on older patients. And the only way, you can, you can tweeze it out of there, so to speak, but it's going to refill. So this patient actually needs surgical excision. Surgical excision. So if you have that, Go see a specialist to get it removed. And let's not show that anymore. Please. <laughs> and you know what? We do have. Uh... <laughs> there goes lunch. Since we have a derm in the house, we actually have some audience members in the house who've been dealing with some problematic acne and zits. So Dr. Kirby has graciously agreed to do some evaluations in our audience. Yeah, let's take a peek. Maybe, uh, I know there's one patient. Blake, could we start with you, if that's OK? So maybe you could stand up for me here. Blake has multiple types of acne here. And when there's multiple types of acne, as is often the case in healthcare, there's not one single best way to treat it. You have to treat it multiple ways. So you were telling me that, that you're taking a medication that you just started, is that correct? Yes, I've been on minocycline mm -hmm. for about three weeks. I saw a dermatologist about a month ago, so I just started that and I'm waiting for it to kick in any day. It's and because it gets worse before it gets better. It, I look awful. It often can, that's exactly <laughs> the case, because sometimes that, that inflammatory process, it'll speed things up and bring it out faster. But one of your complaints to me was that you said, when is it going to occur? When yes. is it going to occur? Like I, I want something like yesterday. Normal adult <laughs> skin cycle is 35 to 57 days. So what that means is when you start an acne medication, you're looking at a bare minimum of four weeks, typically about eight weeks, yeah. to start seeing a difference and often 12 weeks. So I actually think minocycline, an oral antibiotic, is a great way to treat this type of acne. I do think maybe adding a topical antibiotic might be something you want to consider as well. Oral medications and topical medications medications often work great because they're working from two different ways. Nonetheless, you still are sort of um, obligated to follow that timeline. That's right. The waiting game. <laughs> the waiting game. Dr. Kirby, you met another audience member who has something that they have thank not Thank you very yet. much. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. that's right. Felix, if you, thank you for participating as well. So Definitely. Felix has a complaint of, of, maybe you could tell him a little bit about the story. About six months ago, I had like a zit right here and I kind of picked at it and then squeezed it and substance came out and it kind of kept picking at it, kept picking at it and it would bleed and it would scab and just wouldn't leave it alone. And now it's turned into like a little bit of a growth. And so he's looked at it and he's told me it's not a pimple anymore. It's not a textbook pimple. He's yeah. really developed sort of a scarred hemangioma-like acne cyst. But maybe if we step over into the treatment room, I can actually help you today and see if we can knock that out. Okay. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Dr. Kirby, is that an example of somebody who tries to self-squeeze, self-treat at home, and when you don't get it all out, that's when it potentially can get worse. That's 100% that's the case, and I think that we can all admit everyone here has squeezed a zit. Sometimes it's fine, sometimes it heals, heals well, but often it leads to more problems. Discoloration, occasionally infection, and sometimes scarring. So Any zit squeezing tips? 
You, yeah, you gotta squeeze. So th I'm glad you brought that up. So here is my zit squeezing tip to you. If you have a whitehead, if you can actually see a little bit of pus there, take a hot shower, and after that shower, you get two Q-tips. You're allowed to squeeze gently with the two Q-tips, not your fingers, not your mom's toenail clippers, just these two <laughs> Q-tips. And if you can squeeze a little bit of pus out, that's okay, but I want it to be really delicate and really gentle. Here's why. If you squeeze too hard, you're pushing part of that pus out, and you're pushing part of that pus in. Your body hates that pus. That's why it's there, and then you get inflammation, and you're perpetuating the problem. So always see your dermatologist if it seems serious, but to answer your question, very gently, two Q-tips after a hot shower. Great. And we'll check in in just a little bit with them coming up. Bra mistakes that are a pain in the neck, a pain in the back, and even a pain in your circulation. If your breasts could talk, what would they really be? <laughs> Welcome back. Let's check in with Dr. with Dr. Will Kirby. He's in our procedure room right now with Felix. So Dr. Kirby, tell us what you're up to. What we're gonna do is clean the lesion just a little bit with this alcohol pad. And as you can see it here, sort of a red, probably eight millimeter lesion. It's raised on the skin, a little bit scarred down and that concerns me. It's also red, which indicates to me that there's a little bit of blood in it. This is a sterile 11 blade. Felix, you're gonna feel the tiniest of nicks here. A little pinch, might bleed a little bit, so don't be surprised. And I'm just slightly incising it. Sterile extractor, and we're gonna see what comes out. So, little pressure here. No, no, no. Oh, Lord. Bear with me. You okay there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really scarred down, which indicates he. More like a thread. He really. You weren't afraid to mess with this before, huh, Felix? Well, does that look like a granuloma? It could be. It could be that it's so scarred down that it is granulomatous tissue now. So, this lesion started out as a simple cyst, and now it's turned into this. Um, you know, the serous, serous sanguine flu, sanguinous fluid is coming out. Started as a uh, cyst, and because of the texture change and the pressure that was put upon it, it's become a little granuloma. This is aluminum chloride. It's going to help shrink it down, and we're going to put a Band-Aid on it, and then we're going to reassess it in about two weeks. And at that time, if, it's, if it hasn't shrunk down completely, we're going to either excise it or possibly inject it with a little bit of alcohol. One way or another, we'll get rid of it in the very near term. And the takeaway here is that a zit that won't go away <laughs> is no longer a zit. Get it checked out. Dr. Kirby, thank you so much. Thank you. Best of luck yeah. to you. And thanks for feeling. Embarrassing, gross, and even downright shocking body problems. We've got them all covered.